Montgomery. And he was saying, hey, it's, you know, almost 50 years. And, um, because I think it was in the spring of 1965. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're seniors in high school. In um, New York. Yeah, Long Island. And we, we took um, a regular Greyhound bus mm -hmm. through all these little towns, including, um, I think it was Gainesville, Georgia. Not Gainesville, Florida, Gainesville, Georgia, as I remember the name. There were, the sheriff was not inclined to let us back on the bus. Hmm. Uh, and it's like, <coughs> all we want to do is leave your town. You know, I mean, you know, we got off and got a snack or something. Um, but anyway, that's that was what I was thinking about historically. Um, but I was just back in Ferguson, um, and I went to college in St. Louis, and I remember tutoring in a a totally segregated community called Kinlock, which is next to Ferguson, uh, back in the 1966 or 60, yeah, 66 or something. So this is just five or ten miles from downtown St. Louis? Uh, well, no, it's, it's about 20 miles from downtown St. Louis. Mm -hmm. But part of the but, greater but St. Louis area. But it's very much part of St. Louis County, mm -hmm. greater metropolitan St. Louis. And they have St. Louis County is broken up into tiny municipalities and a couple of larger ones. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it had to do with having restrictive covenants on sale of property. Mm -hmm. And they could do it that way by having a town, <laughs> the whole town. So um, St. Louis is quite a history. I mean, it's really interesting about how. I read stuff about St. Louis right now and the spike in gun sales. Everybody's convinced there's going to be riots and looting. Of course, if you're totally convinced of it, it probably will happen someplace. <laughs> so at this point, people are waiting for the results of the grand jury uh, investigation of the police officer. Yes, and the people who have been leading you know, marches um, have been trying to work together and to also coordinate with the police to say, hey, look, you know, you have to let people have free speech. And, you know, how can we do this and avoid, you know, what's going on in the past where you're throwing tear gas and people are throwing, you know, bottles at you.